Development corridors are geographical areas identified as priority for investments to generate economic growth and development, usually through the creation of linear and polygonal infrastructure such as railways, pipelines, or technology cities. The Development Corridors Partnership Project actually has got a fundamental goal of trying to generate evidence that is supposed to show the extent to which uh, some of these projects are either impacting negatively or positively on natural resources, on the social aspects of, a, of, of, a, of, of or rather well-being of the local communities, and the overall objective is to try and improve the well-being of society. Looking at water resources, the impact of development corridors on water resources and how we can better plan for water resources in future so that uh, we don't have challenges within the corridors on water supply and uh, we see how we can balance the water supply and demand as we come up with these new corridors. We make sure that there is enough water to serve the people who will be there and also help in the industries that will come up, like for example here in Suswa, there is an industrial park coming up. So there has to be a plan for water, because water is necessary for development. We engage communities through interviews, focus group discussions, meetings, as well as household surveys with an aim of capturing their experiences, challenges, aspirations, and concerns around the implementation and hence the outcome of these projects. When the project started, we had some challenges. We, had, we undergone a lot of pressure. Like the population, we were mixed up. We used to stay as at our own places as a community. We were weird and we were scared because we had uh, visitors, we had foreigners. And on the other hand, the project itself, it had good things because we had some, the other part of the sections, we had them uh, building maybe two schools, one school. So we say that's uh, a good on the other hand. The project is generating evidence, data and information critical in informing decision making and policy around development corridors. These activities are aimed at influencing how development corridors are planned, designed and implemented so as to achieve resilient, inclusive and sustainable growth as enshrined in the UN Sustainable Development Goals. When the report was put there, it was a big uh, public participation was done. The community, the community okayed it, although there were conflicts about the ownership of land there. When we were children or just before these roads being uh, constructed by the government, we used to travel to Ngong for three hours, a place of less than 50 kilometers. Now from here, you can use 40 minutes to Ngong because the road is being tarmacked by the government. As we are personalists, Life is changing now for a better future.